Production。As you know, as you may know, Gallium nitrate is a premium. At,、oh, it's, it's better to use uh, uh, just wait a moment. There's a point. As you know,、uh, Gallium nitrate is a premium material. Gallium nitrate is a premium material in application of the electric device, but now it is recognized as an emerging material for power devices, which has wider band gap and it's robust in harsh e n v i r o n m e n t with high breakdown field. A co competitor may be silicon carbide. But gallium nitrate has much higher mobility, like this, showing higher possibility in wider applications. In this picture, I show you the performance of devices made by silicon, SIC, and gallium nitrate. And let's square are the data for gallium nitrate. They show higher mobility and、uh, Higher mobility, and、uh, as I said, this picture shows the state of our specific on resistant, resistant blocking voltage for various power switching devices reported so far. Gallium nitride material, for example, this heterogallium nitride devices. This area, in this area, with high blocking voltage and high mobility. However, in power devices, we need high, higher quality thin film and gallium nitride, higher, higher quality thin film, and the clarification mechanism of epistatic growth is demanded. Gallium nitride is attracting as a next generation power device, as, said, as I said before. For application of gallium nitride power devices, it is important to suppress. Reverse leakage current. This is a PN diode of gallium nitrate. And leakage to suppress reverse leakage current is a very important issue. Recent study, experimental study, has reported that leakage, leakage in vertical PN diode is correlated to the threading dislocation. Left figure, this is left figure. Shows the emission point when reverse bias is applied. This indicates the leakage. This white point, bright point is leakage. Light figure shows the location of dislocation obtained by the h p i c method. Comparing this This right figure, right, left, left figure and right figure,、uh, leakage spot correlated with the location of screw dislocation. In another words, leakage, leakage spot is it's located always in the screw, at the screw dislocation in vertical PN diode. As a more recent study that s h o w that for the three dimensions atom tomography experiment measurement, doped mag magnesium concentrate around the disloca dislocation. This line is a dislocation line. This, this same image is a dislocation, and this is the same position. Therefore, magnesium impurity concentrate around the screw dislocation about 4 nanometer. So, magnesium and screw dislocation are possible origin of the leakage current. However, there's no knowledge about the magnesium screw dislocation complex. This is a purpose of our study. It is still unclear the connection between the leakage current and magnesium screw dislocation complex. In this study, we clarify 
the electric structure of magnesium and the screw distribution complex by using first prince calculation and we discuss the relationship with the leakage current. This is the calculation method. Calculation program is based, based on the first principle calculation. The details I'd like to skip. We consider a model as following. System contains screw dislocation like this. Whose bar has vector is 0001, which is observed in experiments. The screw dislocation structure is strained along C direction. And periodic boundary condition is applied in C direction. The system contains these, this, this blue region is a vacuum region. System contains vacuum, re, vacuum layer in plane direction and the fixture pseudo hydrogen terminated the dangling bond of gallium and nitride. This screw dislocation model is a spiral model with a dislocation core as a center. Dislocation core is located at the center. When it makes a circle like this, it is shifted 0001. As for dislocation core model, there are two types. One is double core and the other is thin core. Double core, it is shifted by zero, C axis 0001 around two ring like this. In case of single core, it is shifted by C around one ring. We have examined the various core type in the screw dislocation. Core types are mainly into, divided into two types as, as mentioned before, single core and double core. In single core, Dislocation core is located in the center of six-membered ring. On the other hand, in double core case, this dislocation center is located between two rings. In another words, middle of the bond. And this is a closed core model. There are many core models. This is a closed core model. Moreover, we consider other core type by removing gallium or nitrogen atoms from this closed core. For example, in this structure, two gallium atoms are removed from the closed core model, so it is written as two. Two gallium atom is removed. And no nitrogen atom is removed. This is zero. Then we call this model as W20. So this structure is called W20. And this is nitrogen field core model. On the other hand, this is a gallium field core model. In case of single core, the Classification is the same. This is called single 06. This is a closed core. This is a uh, gallium field core, single 06. We examine the, the relative stability of these core structures in the screw dislocations. In the gallium Gallium rich condition and nitrogen rich condition depend, depend on the chemical potential of mu gallium. So we brought this mu, mu E diagram, mu gallium E diagram. 
First, comparing only the crossed core model, double zero zero crossed core model is more stable than single zero zero model. Furthermore, we find there are more stable structure in which nitrogen atoms are removed from the cross core model, like this. This is a cross core model. However, nitrogen removed model is more stable. In this, for example, double zero two, single zero three, and single zero six. However, in, the, in these two, three models, we focus on double zero two in this study. Where nitrogen atom are removed only near the dislocation. In this time, at this time, we examined the double zero two, this structure, core, because double core is more stable than single core, uh, and double zero two core is a typical structure where nitrogen atom are removed. Up to now, we purely discussed the dislocation. Now we move on magnesium impurity. This is a magnesium impurity. We, magnesium is doped as acceptor and we replace gallium atom as magnesium atom one, one gallium atom by one magnesium atom at various distance from the dislocation core. And then we calculate the binding energy as a function of the distance from the dislocation core, D. Then we plot the binding energy. Horizontal axis is a distance from the dislocation core. Distance from the dislocation core. We revealed that magnesium impurity concentrate near the screw dislocation, which is consistent with the experiments. Magnesium impurity is concentrated near the uh, dislocation core, which is about 1.8 TB stable than bulk bulk position. This is in good agreement with uh, uh, 3D atom probe experiments mentioned before. Therefore, screw dislocation attract magnesium impurities. We estimate the magnesium concentration based on the grand canonical ensemble with the binding energy. We estimated that magnesium impurity concentrate in the range of two nanometer from the dislocation core which is inconsistent with uh, 3D atom probe tomography experiments. This is four nanometer. Experiment is four nanometer. In theory is two nanometer. This is typically the same. I said one uh, core model. One core model attract uh, magnesium. However, in, in this co open core case, magnesium atom concentrate near the dislocation core. Therefore, uh, I, we, we, can we can conclude that dislocation tend to, tend to attract magnesium impurities. Then we move on the electronic structure. We have uh, examined the defect level in the gap and we will clarify the N-type region like this. It formed magnesium impurity located near the core region. If magnesium is near core, this is, is N-type N -type impurity level is of, appears, however, a magnesium is far from the dislocation core, it is deep. 
We focus on a system with magnesium that is located near and far. These defect level are these defect level are dislocation dislocation level. We found that dislocation level go up to conduction band conduction band bottom as the magnesium position approach to the dislocation. These defect level are the dislocation level due to gallium gallium bond in the dislocation core. And this defect level is <coughs> also the dislocation level due to the gallium gallium bond at another place. And these defect level near the conduction band H are this dislocation level due to gallium dangling bond. Like this. On the other hand, this defect level is a magnesium acceptor level because these wave function are spread about one nanometer around the magnesium atom. In contrast to the dislocation level, acceptor level down, go down to balance band as a magnesium position approach to uh, co the dislocation core. Next, we examine the energy level of magnesium and dislocation complex. We plotted highest occupied level in each system. We reveal that high, highest occupied level elevate towards the conduction band bottom as a magnesium atom approach to the dislocation core. This result suggests magnesium and dislocation complex causes N-type behavior even in P-type region. This is a P-type region. This is because this is a magnesium doped gallium nitrate. However, this is a dislocation and this, this dislocation uh, attract magnesium and the magnesium dislocation complex is formed. And this region becomes N-type. Therefore, magnesium and dislocation complex cause a reverse leakage current. Then, why? Does magnesium and dislocation complex behave as an end time? We examine the defects level in band gap, such as dislocation level and the magnesium acceptor level. Dislocation level and magnesium acceptor level. When dislocation level, when dislocation level elevate towards a conduction band bottom, conduction band bottom, and the acceptor level go down to the balance band top. If magnesium is far from magnesium is far from dislocation core, dislocation level and acceptor level are not hybridized. However, if hybridization if magnesium is near the dislocation core, acceptor level and uh, dislocation level hybridizes with dislocation level and bonding state and antibonding state appears. Moreover, as a magnesium approached towards the dislocation core, this hybridization becomes larger and energy, the energy splitting between bonding and antibonding state increases. In this way, the antibonding state elevates towards the conduction band H due to the increase of hybridization, and then this makes system N-type. Also, this is a P acceptor doped region.
then we summarize my talk. We studied magnesium screw dislocation complex by using first frame calculations. Screw dislocation attract magnesium impurity. Magnesium dislocation complex behaves an end type e even in P type region. This is due to the antibonding state in another one, dislocation level elevated to the conduction band bottom by the hybridization with the acceptor level. Then local end type region is formed near the uh, dislocation. The origin of reverse leakage current is magnesium dislocation complex.